Welcome in, Sledge here. Today we're going over the basics of lighting. This video is for newbies on how to wire your base for lighting utilizing a switch, as well as some general knowledge on electrical items. What you'll need. The wire tool. A battery of some kind. This can be small, medium, or large. A power source. Whether it's a solar panel, wind turbine, or generator. They all work for what we're doing. And a switch. I recommend this, but it's not mandatory. With that said, let's jump into it. First, you'll want to place a power source. We'll be using the large solar panel. Place these at the top of your base away from walls or areas that don't get direct sunlight. I place mine on the first level for this example only. It's also important to note the direction of the solar panel or even the height of the wind turbine, but we'll jump into that in another video. Next, you will want to place a storage unit inside your base. I just use the most basic storage, the small battery. Notice how it has both a power input and output. This is important. In order for your battery to collect power, you must connect the power out on the solar panel to the power input of the small battery. The wire tool will be what creates wire between these items. Simply left click the output on the solar panel to the input of the small battery. Now, as long as the sun is hitting the solar panel, your panel will feed power into storage. Now that your battery is storing power, we're ready to run power to some lights. This is simple, and with some changes to electrical and recent updates, it's even easier. Each battery has a different max output allotted. For instance, the small battery outputs 15 rust watt minutes total, where the large battery allows up to 100 rust watt minutes. We will go over more details of electrical items in other videos. The ceiling light item consumes two power per light. We will be placing two of these to show you how to connect them to the battery and chain them together in a circuit. Once you have the lights placed, you will then want to put down a switch. There's different kinds of switches, but for now we're only working with the most basic one, which has a manual toggle, on and off. Once the switch is placed in your base, use your wire tool to run a wire from the output of your battery to the power in spot on your switch. This is located at the bottom of the switch. You will see the light turn red when it's in the off position and green when it's in the on position. Next, go to the power output of your switch and route it to your hanging light's power in point. We're connecting a second light, so you will now attach a wire to the pass through of light one and connect it to the power in of light two. For some base appeal, you can add a droop to your wiring by holding shift and scrolling your mouse wheel up and down to change the looseness of the wire. In addition, you can press the R key to change the color of your wire. Your circuit is now complete front to back. The last thing you gotta do is hit the switch. And congrats, you've just completed your first lighting circuit. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave some comments down below. Or if you guys want other things answered or shown, feel free to let me know. Don't forget to like the video for me if you could, and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff in the future. Until next time, you guys take it easy, and happy lighting. Peace out.